Let us pray. For he delivers the needy when they call, the poor and those who have no helper. He has pity on the weak and the needy and saves the lives of the needy. From oppression and violence he redeems their life and precious is their blood in his sight. Dear Lord, the challenge over the last year has shaken us all, touched us all, taught us all. It has forced us to see injustice and inequality laid bare here and around the world. Forgive us our reluctance to look and accept what has been shown to us. Help us to move beyond a feeling of helplessness in the face of such immense challenges and see that with you anything is possible. Give us the courage to emerge from this pandemic and insist on a fairer society and dignity for all people. Gracious Lord, hear our prayer. Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labour in vain. Unless the Lord guards the city, the guard keeps watch in vain. Forgive us, Lord, for relying on our own strength, for thinking we know what's best for your church and your people without watching and waiting in obedience to you. Help us to take this opportunity to grow your church for and with all your people. Gracious Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord is faithful in all his words and gracious in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you and you give them their food in due season. Dear Lord, so many have suffered so much in the last year. We lift up to you all who are hungry, hungry for food, hungry for company, hungry for comfort and an end to their pain. Open our eyes, Lord, and help us to see each other more clearly. Open our hearts, Lord, so your love and care may flow through us all. Show us what to do, knowing that you will provide whatever we need to live in obedience to you. Gracious Lord, hear our prayer. And a blessing from the International Women's Day of Prayer, which feels so apt this week. May the God of Eve teach you to dance. May the God of Hagar bring you comfort in the desert. May the God of Miriam bring companions to you when you struggle. May the God of Deborah teach you courage for your battles. May the Christ who knew Mary and Martha show you the way of balance. May the Christ who healed the bent over woman heal your pain. May the Christ of Mary Magdala send you out to proclaim your story. In the name of Christ, who is the memory and hope of the future. Amen. And finally, from the Paradox Blessing. May God bless you with the foolishness to think that you can make a difference in the world so that you will do the things which others tell you cannot be done. Amen.